everybody, it's Katie. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to share with you some more dessert table things. So in this video, I'm going to share with you um, how you can be in a wedding or it could be your own wedding and you could have a dessert table because I actually do wed dessert tables for wedding. If you're in the Rapid City, South Dakota area, I'd love to do one for you. But recently, I actually did one for my sister's wedding. And um, I just was kind of thinking about the logistics of somebody wanted to own wedding. Um, is that even possible? And in my opinion, it is, but you would have to do it right. Um, because the way I did it for my sister's wedding was definitely not low stress, but I've done dessert tables before. Um, so it wasn't really a problem for me. So I want to share kind of some tips and tricks you could work through um, in order to do this for your own wedding or maybe a friend of yours wedding, whatever it might be. Uh, a wedding that you're highly involved with, but you're still providing the desserts for um, as a money saving option because I think everybody's trying to save money wherever they can. So here we go. <music> Do not make all of the dessert yourself. In fact, you may not need to make any of the dessert yourself. It could just be the task of delegating. So my sister loves my Aunt Linda's chocolate revel bars. And so she asked her to make those for her wedding. And she just made up two pans of them, cut them, brought them. And they were a great addition to the dessert, the dessert table. So that got me thinking that, you know, really, there's everybody kind of has like a little specialty. Um, every not every family member but a lot of family members and friends so thinking of those things and thinking what would work together in a dessert table um, if you missed my last video it was all about planning a dessert table um, go ahead and check that out I have a free PDF um, that you can get just by sharing your email with me and um, that will kind of walk you through the process of planning which is kind of what I'm talking about here but really thinking about what different types of desserts would work well together I mean, we don't want to have all chocolate I would like that but the whole idea of a dessert table is to have different types um, of desserts that everyone can enjoy and then even providing desserts for people with dietary restrictions I know a lot of people um, with kids or um, they themselves have these restrictions they really know how to bake in this way and so if you have a friend or a family member um, that has that skill have them bake a couple dozen um, gluten-free cupcakes or whatever it might be um, but having those um, come together into one dessert table is a great option now if you're gonna do this I really recommend that you um, get a point person so whether um, that's a friend or a family member whatever it might be that they are coordinating this so if you're the bride that you um, are not worried about this leading up to the wedding but that they would double check that they are bringing those things because some people tend to forget that kind of stuff so you know like a week in advance giving them a call making sure they're coming and they're bringing that dessert and then having them coordinate when and all that kind of stuff so I think you can do it for your own wedding but I would um, be careful that you are not scrambling on your own wedding day to get these things put together tip number two is to use some store-bought desserts so I think of places like Sam's Club Costco even Walmart um, they have lots of different like mini desserts for very affordable prices so um, going there and kind of seeing what they have now with some of those places you could order in advance so maybe you do um, go to Sam's and order some cupcakes um, or maybe you are liking some of their cookies or whatever it might be you can go have your own tasting where you try um, some of their desserts I've been noticing Sam's Club has been having um, like cake balls or cake pops and I was like that would be fantastic because they're not at a bakery price um, but they would add a lot to a dessert table tip number three and that is planning and practicing your dessert table setup um, I love putting dessert tables together I have tons of cake stands and decorations and all that kind of stuff that I love to incorporate but if it's not something you do as a business, you may not have that many or enough. Even, you know, even people that are into cakes, like they may have a couple cake stands. Um, it's really going to take quite a few depending on the number of people you have coming to your wedding. So source those, whether that's buying them or borrowing them, um, and then actually practice putting it together. Um, I really prefer when it's got kind of a, a build um, to the cutting cake. Um, if you choose to have a cutting cake, but kind of have at least a peak in the middle and potentially like um, Visually that there's kind of a point there could be even two more points off to the side um, And that just takes like messing around with it having these different cake stands you can have um, just plates 
all sorts of heights, but that you actually practice putting it together, take a picture of it, and then um, pack all those things up for your reception area. Um, when you're doing this, this yourself, um, you may, when you're decorating, you may be able to be the one to put it together. If you're not, that's totally fine. But if you've taken a picture of it and you have that ready to go, then you're ready to go. Tip number three is to work within your skill set. So you may not have made a dessert table before, and hopefully this video is helpful, but don't get too ambitious because I feel like you're going to end up regretting it. So for example, if you have never frosted a cake before, don't make your own cutting cake. Don't be afraid to go to a bakery um, or even honestly like Walmart, Safeway, whatever kind of grocery store you have, and just ordering a simple like white decorated cake to use as your cutting cake. Um, or if you've never um, made a certain dessert, then definitely don't make it for your wedding unless you like have the time to like test it and like make sure you're happy with it. It would, sounds very stressful to me to do that. So I would just recommend um, working within your skill set. And if you want to work outside of your skill set, then practice before your wedding. My next tip is to work in community. I remember um, for my sister Trisha's wedding, um, she actually had bars for her wedding, which was super fun, like all sorts of different bars. Um, she had like lemon bars and pecan bars and all that kind of stuff and my aunt and all of my sisters I have um, four sisters and my mom we all got together and we baked and literally we made all of her wedding dessert in two hours and then we stuck it in the freezer so if you can come up with freezable options which I do talk in my previous planning video um, I'll link that in the cards right here um, that is a wonderful option um, because you can really have it all done other than the cutting cake if you choose to have that if this is for a wedding obviously you could do this for an anniversary birthday whatever it might be um but getting together working on it together and throwing it in the freezer so coming up with options like that um bars are a wonderful one and you guys you know what people really like to eat them i find that people prefer bars over cake most of the time not always but um especially like a good lemon bar or a good pecan bar um, my aunt makes these chocolate revel bars as like an oatmeal chocolate bar. Anyway, um, I honestly think that's like one of the best options. So get together, work on it. Don't do this by yourself. And then my last tip is just to make sure that you have people helping you. Because I was in my sister's wedding recently and I had set up all the cake stands for the dessert table, but all of my desserts needed to be refrigerated or most of them did. So I didn't have them set out anyway, because also they got married like in the same room. So it seemed kind of weird to have all the desserts out like right next to where they're getting married, um, which was fine. But then when the wedding was over, I had to run down there and I had people helping me, but I had to set it all out. And in hindsight, like I really should have just had somebody else do that. And I could have communicated that to somebody, but I felt like I wanted to do it. So um, find somebody to do that and then it can be off your plate and you just don't need to deal with that. It's a day to be enjoyed. Um, so make sure you do enjoy it. Find people to help you and um, just be really clear about that communication. Like I talked about previously, having a point person um, if you're the bride um, or if you're not the bride, you can probably be the person to check up with everyone, but then having someone to set it out is really helpful. So you're not like running away from the newly married couple to go um, worry about the dessert. But anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, hit subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.